everyone thanks for stopping by welcome to the channel i'm g and this is g's nail spot and as always if you enjoy this video please give it a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos so let's get stuck in this is another little born pretty uh, pr package that i've received um, so I'm going to show you some swatches of the colours that have been sent. So they're all Silky White series. I think this is CG130. I think that was. And this is a gorgeous glittery black. So it's a black gel polish with holographic glitter in it. So you'll be able to see it a little bit clearer on the swatch in a minute. Here it is. There we go. Look at that. That's got two coats. And as you can see, it's black with all those different holographic colours in absolutely stunning this is going to be so good for halloween sets and even better for christmas sets dare i say <laughs> um so that's that one the next one is my favorite probably cg082 and this is blood red look at that it's a lovely deep rich red absolutely stunning love this one there you go again two coats that is a gorgeous red you know i love my reds after black it's red and this is a gorgeous red uh the third color is i say color it's another silky white again cg118 and this is very similar to the first one it's a black with glittering but this is as you can see it's a lot thicker super thick consistency because it is full absolutely packed full of chunky glitter so it's the same sort of colour scheme as the first one, but as you can see, it's a lot chunkier. I really like this one. And this is the one that we're going to use in the set today, along with a couple of the others. Um, but this, again, like I say, is a mixed glitter black gel polish with some chunky and some small holographic glitter. Love this one. Another one that would be very good in your collection for Christmas or Halloween. And this is a bit random, CG048. Now, I don't know if I put the wrong number in when I ordered these... <laughs> <laughs> or um, it just looked different on the side. For some reason, I've ended up with like a lilac-y pink. So not what I expected. <laughs> there you go. It's quite a pretty colour. It is very much a lilac-y pink, um, but it's not going to go with the black and red set that I had in mind. So I'm not, not sure what happened there. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Here's the Born Pretty Metal Painting Gel in super shiny silver. Look at that. This is in one of the newer products. You will have seen the other chrome painting gels that they've had in the past. The difference with this is it is super shiny, but it doesn't have the same smell and you don't have to stir, stir, stir it like you do the other one to, to get it all mixed in again. It's absolutely a lot easier. It's a thinner consistency, but as you can see there, it is quite chromey, quite super shiny as stated on the uh, tub. <laughs> so we will be using that one a little bit in this set um so there we go let's crack on here are my usual like, kitty claws because this is a set i will be wearing at some point um and we're gonna go straight in with well actually first of all this is the base coat that i use it's a born pretty base coat it's amazing and don't forget this 10 percent off any born pretty product if you use my discount code click on my affiliate link in the description box below use the code get 10 percent off everything job done so if you like any of these products they will all be linked below get yourself a little juicy discount so going in with jn49 it's a, a jelly black that i got in one of my previous little pr packages um, that's going on the middle and the pinky and then I'm going in with that gorgeous blood red the CG082 on the index finger and that's all I'm going to do for now I'm going to pop them in the lamp cure them and then give them all another coat so here they are with two coats we have not touched the thumb and the ring finger yet um, I'm going in with the CG118 that's that chunky glitter that I showed you at the start and I'm going to go on top of the jelly black. So I just put the jelly black down just so that there was a little bit of background for this glitter because I didn't really want to put two coats of the glitter on. I want it to look a little bit sparse. But with the jelly black, it just gives it a little bit more depth without having too much see-through clear on the nail, if that makes sense. So there you go. I have popped another layer of base coat on top of that glitter as well because it's quite chunky. It can get a bit lumpy. So I just put some base coat on to smooth it out. Now, the only blooming gel I have is Biography, so I'm using that here. This is the thumbnail that we've not done anything with yet, I only put a base coat on. I'm going to slap some blooming gel on, and then I'm going in with that red, and I'm just going to dob bits of red, <laughs> technical term, uh, as you can see, in no 
particular order just random blobs of the red doesn't matter if you get the little stringy bits on like that because what I'm going to be doing is the blooming jelly is going to help it spread but I'm going to use a little cocktail stick and just kind of swirl them around together but I don't want it too covered so it's gonna give the effect of blood on glass I guess which sounds very creepy and it should do because this is a creepy set <laughs> but this hopefully is going to look like blood that's kind of just smeared on glass or it's just splattered on glass but yeah you do whatever you want here creative license here do what you like but don't do too much merging because you don't want to cover too much of the nail with the red leave some see-through bits so it looks like blood yeah creepy <laughs> well these are a creepy set you know and i really like this effect so i did the exact same on the ring finger and that's what they look like. I think you could go a lot of different ways with this effect. You could do a bit more specific swirling and make them look like roses or flowers or do any pattern you like. Mine was random because I wanted it to look like just sort of blood on there. Anyway, this is where we're up to so far with the designs. So let's go back to those glitter nails and all I'm gonna do is pop some drips on here. You've seen me do drips before. If you look at my video last week, I did some green drips on some black nails I'm using the exact same, same technique um, to do the drips. I'm going in with white first, curing that, and then I shall go over the top with that blood red. I am loving the red blood drips on that chunky black glitter. Let me know below what you think of that. I think that looks stunning. Anyway, moving on to that index finger that's just red. I'm gonna give it a, a black French tip, as you can see, in super speedy style. <laughs> um, so yeah, a black French tip, and then I'm gonna go over that black with the chunky glitter so that it ties in with those other glittery nails. Then I'm going to add some of that um, super shiny silver metal painting gel. Always long names, aren't they, sometimes, some of these polishes. Anyway, you can see that lovely glitter on the black there. There you go, bit of a close-up. That looks nice. And yeah, so I'm going to go over the smile line with the silver. Now, here it is. Now, trigger warning, this gets messy in a second because I'm so clumsy watch this i've slowed it down a little bit just so you can feel my pain people feel my pain i'm so clumsy oh why <laughs> why do i do these things how many times have i spilt things on my channel it's, it's just it's crazy isn't it but anyway watch me frantically try and scoop it back in so i sped this bit up <laughs> but i thought it was quite hilarious but i did actually manage to save a fair amount thank goodness i've got like a a, a sort of paper a shiny paper napkin down because i did manage to scoop a great deal back into that little pot so small small save but anyway um back to the nail i've given that smile line some silver and then i'm just going in and i'm doing some sort of stitches 
some little silver stitches on that smile line just to tie it in with the uh, with the theme of the blood uh, so that's what that looks like and it is a really lovely shiny metal paint I do recommend that one um, to get if you're after some so thumbnail my cart rhinestone glue we're just going to bling this nail up a bit it doesn't need a lot because i don't want to hide that amazing blood effect that i've got on there too much but i did want just a little bit of bling in this set so we're going to go in with some of these gems these are all different mixed pots that i've got from Shein and amazon and i'm just going to put a very simple crystal arrangement down the center of the nail Okay, and that wraps it up for the nail designs for this one. So I hope you enjoyed the designs on these nails on this bloodlust set of nails, all set for Halloween creepy goriness. Um, I just need to pop a top coat on, so of course I'm going to use Born Pretty's super top coat because it really is super. And like I say, don't forget, I am a Born Pretty affiliate, so click on my link below. It'll take you to the website. It'll put my discount code in and you'll get 10% off your order, anything you order from the website. Um, so that's down below. And don't forget to drop a comment down below for me. Let me know what you think of these designs. Are they creepy enough for you? Uh, is this a, a set that you might like to try? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos from me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.